guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for some more Christmas crafting. I'm so excited. Christmas crafting is my favorite. And today I'm gonna to be sharing some quick and easy Christmas craft and DIY ideas with you. And today's video is in collaboration with my sweet crafting friends, Linda from Faith Chick 777's DIY by Design and Tracy from Country Charm by Tracy. You guys, they are such amazing crafters. They are so inspiring and they have such great ideas to share with you. I will include a link for our Christmas playlist as well as their channels in the description below. Make sure you stop by and say hello and let them know that I sent you. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a yummy hot cocoa, sit back, relax, and let's get to crafting. First up, I'm going to make a pillow with these placemats from Dollar Tree. I loved the simple plaid of these placemats. Now you could take one, just fold it in half and make a simple little pillow like this, or you could take two placemats and put them together, hot glue them or stitch them if you prefer and make a really pretty pillow for just a few dollars. So I'm gonna make one large pillow. So I'm just gonna go around the edge with some hot glue, keeping a pocket open on the bottom so I can add some stuffing. Once I stuff it, I will close it shut with more hot glue. And if it's easier, you could put the two placemats together like I'm here, add a few pins and then go around adding your hot glue and then you can remove the pins at the end. I chose not to do that. I just went around with the hot glue and it was very easy. Once I have all the hot glue, now I'm gonna add my stuffing and you can get stuffing at the craft store. You could get stuffing from an old pillow. That's usually what I use or anything just to fill this to make it really nice and full. I honestly love the pillow just like this. I love the simplicity, but I decided to also take some ribbon. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to wrap it to make a present pillow. And here it is all done. I love this pillow and it was so easy to make. Make sure you check Dollar Tree for really cute placemats that also make really cute pillows as well. So now I'm going to make a Santa hat pillow using the Santa hat chair cover that I also picked up at Dollar Tree. If you notice, I actually have these chair covers on my chairs as well. I think they are darling. So I picked up an extra one thinking of making a pillow. I thought it would be so cute and of course easy. At first I was gonna flip the top of the head over like this and make it like a rectangle pillow. But then I figured I'd go all out and just make a really big Santa hat pillow and see how it looked. And of course, my daughter thought it was super cute. She wants it, so she already has dibs on it. So really easy, just adding some stuffing in this and then sealing it shut with hot glue. I also did a similar project like this in the fall with the Scarecrow chair covers from Dollar Tree and it was so cute. So I couldn't resist doing this and I think it turned out super cute. I love the oversized pillow and it goes so nice. I love how it coordinates with this other pillow. Look at how cute it is. So you could also add some accents to it as well, but I kept it very simple and look at how darling this turned out. Next up, I picked up these five by seven gold frames from Dollar Tree 
and these really pretty ornaments. I actually have them on my tree in my living room. I kept one of each of them to make these frames to also go in my living room as well. So now I have some fabric. You could use some scrapbook paper. You could use whatever you have on hand, even some wrapping paper to fill it. But I'm gonna use some fabric because it's gonna coordinate with other things that I am doing. I'm gonna remove the glass and then I'm gonna cut some fabric out. I'm using a tartan. I'm going to add that onto the frame and then hot glue the Merry Christmas and the reindeer onto each of them and wait till you see how it turns out. It is so pretty. Tartan plaid fabric I'm using is from Hobby Lobby. There is a flannel side and a smoother side. I opted to use the smoother side, so I'm gonna add some hot glue to the backing and then place my fabric on top of that. And look how pretty the tartan is in the gold frame. Pottery Barn actually has tartan frames and they are not just a couple of dollars from Dollar Tree and they look almost like this. So now I just added some hot glue to the ornament and I place that on top and look at how beautiful this turned out. Now I'm doing the reindeer frame and I've been doing projects like this for years and years. It's such an easy and affordable way to decorate seasonally with some inexpensive frames that you can use over and over again or pick them up at the thrift store or Dollar Tree and then use some fabric or wrapping paper or scrapbook paper. Add that in the frame, find some cute accents like these ornaments and add them in and you have some instant decor which is really affordable and looks so beautiful too. I was trying to decide if I wanted to change the orientation of the frame with the reindeer but I ended up doing the landscape of that as well and I just added some hot glue and look at how beautiful oh I just I really love how these turned out they're so so pretty and perfect to go with my Christmas decor. And I just can't get over how pretty they look together. Add a little bit of greenery and boom, super pretty for Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow in the one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Next up, I'm gonna make some more framed art with these beautiful gift bags from Dollar Tree. I can't get over how pretty these are. Look at how pretty this one is with the red truck and the beautiful home. Oh, it's so Christmassy. And then I also picked up this bag too. Now, a couple weeks ago, I actually did a Facebook Live and I showed a few projects using a gift bag as well, including a scroll. But you can also find really pretty pictures on gift boxes too. I do this all the time. I have so much fun. And I just, I get so excited when I go to the stores. I'm always looking through the boxes, not just to use, but uh, to also use as artwork too. So now I have a few eight by 10 frames. And again, these are from Dollar Tree. I love the gold and I'm going to frame this. Wait until you see how pretty this is. I love it so much. I might want to another one actually. So I'm just have to cut down the box a little bit. I'm going to pop it in the frame. At first I was going to add the, the glass, but then I decided I like more of the matte look. So I'm going to remove the glass, pop it in the back of the picture and easy peasy art for just a few dollars. And it is absolutely beautiful.
Don't you love this too? I, I'm in love with this picture. I can't stop looking at it. So run to Dollar Tree, grab the 8x10 frame, find the box, and in a few minutes, you can have this beautiful piece of artwork in your home as well. And it even looks beautiful with the Merry Christmas too. So I actually pulled that out as well. And look at how beautiful this looks in a little vignette. And now I'm going to take this beautiful bag, also from Dollar Tree, and cut it down. This is actually a twofer because you can use both sides of the bag. So I'm going to cut it down. Also, I'm going to trim underneath the hole so you won't see those as well in the picture. And then I use the glass kind of to find where I'm going to trim it down. And then once I kind of get it trimmed down, I'm going to take the paper so I can trim it down even more and then pop this in the frame. I also frame this in front of the glass because I love the beautiful glitter on the picture. Wait till you see, so pretty. And these make beautiful gifts and affordable gifts as well. I'm loving this so much. Look at how pretty and it's not even framed yet. So I'm just going to pop it in the frame, add the glass behind the picture and then the backing. And this is done so easy, so affordable and so, so beautiful. And here it is in the frame. And I also wanted to show you the beautiful glitter. That's why I love having it framed in front of the glass. Next up, I grabbed the stocking from Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap the bottom of the stocking with some fabric. I'm using tartan, but you could use whatever fabric matches your Christmas decor, homespun, whatever you want to use. I love the tartan, so I'm going to just take some fabric and wrap it around and hot glue it to the back. Next, I'm going to trim off the excess fabric and you could also take a piece of fabric and if you want to have a nice clean bag, hot glue that to the backing, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to also add some hot glue to the front to hold that in place. And then I have this mop head also from Dollar Tree that I'm going to hot glue on top of the stocking. Next, I have a few cedar picks from Hobby Lobby that I trimmed down and I'm going to weave that in the back of the stocking underneath the grid to hold it in place. Next, I just make a simple bow with this black velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to hot glue it here or down below. I move it around a few different places. I end up deciding to just hot glue it right here. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends.
I just love the way this turned out. It is so Christmassy and I love the pop of cedar coming out of the top of the stocking too. I hung this on our garage door and it looks so pretty there against the black door. And finally, I have this wood bowl that I picked up from Hobby Lobby in the fall section and I'm spray painting it black. Look at how pretty it is black. I'm sure you've seen this bowl at Hobby Lobby in the fall section before. And once you spray paint it black, it is so pretty. So now I'm gonna add some battery operated lights. These are also from Hobby Lobby. They're my favorite. There's different light functions on it too. Then I'm gonna add some cedar picks that are also from Hobby Lobby. Now you could add some garland too, but I had a ton of these cedar picks. So I'm gonna use what I have. And then I'm gonna to top it with these ornaments. I found these beautiful traditional colored ornaments from the Dollar Tree Plus section. I just thought they were so pretty and Christmassy. So I'm going to add them on top of the greens. I am so happy I painted this bowl. I've actually been tempted to paint it for a while. I got it a few years ago at Hobby Lobby in the fall section. And what inspired me to paint it is actually the black tray behind this is my centerpiece to the dining table. I recently got it and I just love the black tray. And I knew this would look so pretty black too. And look at how beautiful this arrangement turned out for Christmas. Okay guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite Christmas idea is. And don't forget to check out Linda and Tracy's channel and their videos. I've included a link for our Christmas playlist as well as their channels in the description below. Make sure you stop by and say hello and let them know that I sent you. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.